Uh, let's let's pick on Republicans in Congress for a while because what what Amash documented was the the process of taking away the voice of any member of Congress that wanted to offer amendments or alternatives to this 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 massive omnibus. We're going to jam everything into these massive spending bills, and you can either vote yes or no. Um, and it was actually Republican speakers, uh, Paul Ryan and, and John Boehner before him, that created this, this sort of uh, mega powerful speakership. And Nancy Pelosi was like, well, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll run with that. Um, and I can't tell the difference. Uh, I had Rand Paul on my show a couple months ago, and he was, he was sort of uh, criticizing, maybe even make funning, making fun of his colleagues, for drawing a line in the sand in the Senate, they were not going to spend more than a trillion dollars in in unpaid for uh, COVID relief or whatever you wanted to call it. it. All it all went to government. It didn't actually go to people, and that was the new normal. That they were only going to spend a trillion, and now um, you know Joe Biden's coming forward with uh, 1.9 trillion. I think it's sort of comical that we're expecting Joe Biden to offer a different vision for America's future. And he's basically offering just more of the same. This is what we've been doing all of 2020 is just yeah. spending trillions of dollars we don't have. Yeah, look, I, I pointed out on my podcast, the minute the Republicans offered a trillion, they lost the debate. The minute you concede that spending borrowed money is a good thing, well, then you've already lost the argument. And if, it's, if, if spending a trillion dollars that you don't have is good, why isn't spending two trillion better? They needed to make the point that we shouldn't be spending anything. In fact, if you really want to stimulate the economy, the way you do that is cutting government spending, not increasing it. Because once you understand that the government only has what it takes out of the economy, then you recognize that government spending is a burden on the economy. It's a burden that the economy uh, must bear. Now, when the economy is strong and everything is good, well, maybe we can afford the burden. But when the economy is struggling, then you want to lighten that burden. Then the government needs to free up resources back into the private sector. Hey, the private sector is struggling. We've got this pandemic. What can government do to help? Well, let's find a way to ease the burden. Let's cut back on our spending. So maybe we can lower taxes or let's take some of these regulations that are just unnecessarily running up the cost of doing business. Let's get rid of those regulations, you know, because businesses are struggling. They didn't do that. It's like, let's make government bigger. It's like you got somebody trying to run a race and you know they've already got a, a, a pack you know full of weights on it and you think well let's put us let's put some more weights in the pack maybe that'll make them run faster no get rid of the weights that is that are already slowing them down uh, but you know the ones the Republicans said we want a trillion that was it it's over they had no way to win you so know, they're a bunch of cowards <laughs>